so now that I've taken those pictures and whatnot, I'm just going to um, work on getting the wig off. And last time that I tried to re-wig a doll, um, it was, well, it was actually wherever my headless doll went. It was number 12 and number 13. I was re-wigging them both, and I used um, non-acetone nail polish remover, and it came off like that. It was really quick. Um, but on Holland, when I did that, and since it was an older wig, like, it didn't happen for, um, my number 13, which was also Holland, but whatever, um, that wig got really messed up. Um, so since this is an older wig, I'm just not going to use that. And it is, I'm pretty sure this is a pre-Mattel, but obviously I don't have the body, so I wouldn't know. But it says, Pleasant Company, um, the eyelashes are very light, and they almost look like brown. And she's very lightly colored, so. Yep, I'm just going to get working on that, and, yeah. wigging process as you can see um, I'm just gonna actually probably clean up the, the scalp um, just cuz but the whole rewigging process probably took me definitely less than five minutes um, like if it takes you longer it's probably because you have a newer wig but this one was pretty old so was, I stuck the spoon in and then I pretty much tore the rest actually I did I tore the whole thing off in like a pole so it was really loose, and as you can see, there's like no glue on it anymore. So, yeah, that's probably why <laughs> it was really easy. I'm actually kind of shocked. But anyways, I'm just going to pull these little hairs off and whatnot. So, yeah. Okay, that's uncomfortable. Ugh. My goodness. Let's just sit here. Okay, so um, I pretty much finished um, kind of tearing off these hairs. There weren't very many or anything, but... Yeah, um, they mostly stick because they were in the braid. As you can see, they kind of messed up some of the wig. Oops, sorry. Um, so, some of it, the stuff that was connected to the head is stuck in the braid still. I should have checked that out, but I didn't. Um, so anyways, this is the wig, as you saw before, and I'm not going to glue it on. Because apparently, it, this is size 1011, and for BB, it, apparently it fits super well. That's also the size that I got for the old wig that I told you didn't fit, and so I was really nervous ordering it a size 10-11. Um, but I trust y'all, so I'm going to make it as loose as possible because I don't believe that it will fit them. So anyways, I'm going to stick this on, and yeah. And also I'm not going to glue it on. I don't know if I said this, but... Because, um, what am I doing? Gosh, I'm not paying attention at all to what I'm doing. So, um, another reason I don't want to glue it on is because um, she is having, or he is having a silver eye problem, as you can see in one of the eyes. Um, I just forget which one, but, um, yeah, so, um, if I ever wanted to send it to the doll hospital, I'm not going to send it as a boy, because they'd probably get freaked out and be like, what the heck is this? So, I'm actually going to stop the video, because I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing, I'm taking forever, so... Hold on. So I am, okay, so I'm finished with the putting on process. Um, so now I'm going into the in styling process. And oh my god, this wig is so soft. And everyone's right when they say that it fits perfectly because it does. I had it on the um, least tightest or the loosest um, like Velcro level in the back because there's a little Velcro thingy next to the tag. Um, which I need to shove in his, um, his head, but, um, so then I went back and I tightened it all the way, and now it fits perfectly, so I'm going to be styling it, um, however I do, um, yeah, and here's a photo shoot of him, and, well, actually, none of his clothes arrived, um, except for, I guess, I guess he'll be using the black and white shirt also, but none of his stuff that I 
like really ordered for him came so um, he's just gonna be in the outfit that I got today well maybe I don't know I haven't decided anyways enjoy the show both anyways enjoy the photo shoot Okay, so here he is. Here's Lucian, and I styled, it, styled his hair, and he has his hat, but pretty much that's all he has from his wardrobe. For some reason, I don't have, like, 0% of my, or maybe, like, 0.1% of my doll collection clothes is boy-related or could be tomboyish. For some reason, I just don't have any boy clothes or that could fit him properly. Um, I didn't even have a pair of jeans, but I did order those. So, um... This is what he's wearing now. The only thing boyish that I had was a pair of soccer cleats. And, yeah. This is not his permanent clothes or whatever, so don't laugh at his outfit. Um, but anyways, um, here's the photo shoot. Finished styling, and this is how he's going to look. Um, I think he looks really great. Um, and I'm totally kidding, so I'm going to actually... I don't even know what I'm going to do. His hair it looks too long this way, but then it looks too short if I pull the wig a little bit back. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's going to take me forever. Did I turn this on? Sorry. Oops. 